Hello third graders and welcome. We are beginning unit three lesson one. So first we talk about um, here in this uh, letter, there's the different systems of measurement. Um, in America, we use what's called the customary system. The rest of the world, and except for like maybe one other country, uses the metric system. So it's really important that we learn both. So we'll be learning and using both and getting uh, accustomed to using both. For length in the US, we have feet, inches, yards, miles. And you can see here the relationships between the numbers um, are a little, you know, random, it seems. In the metric system, there's meters, decimeters, um, centimeters, uh, and they're all like based on 10 and 100. And it connects to centi is 100 and deci is 10, so it's pretty easy to follow. With capacity, we use in America cups, fluid ounces, pints, quarts, and gallons. Um, the gallon is the bigger one. There's four quarts in a, a gallon. There's two pints in a quart. There's two cups in a pint, and there's eight fluid ounces in a single cup. Um, so it's a little bit of remembering. It's based off of like in old recipes in America. You might not have a scale, but you might have a teacup. So that's kind of where that came from. And then in the metric system, there's just liters which is 1,000 milliliters, which is like a really small amount. So you might buy your milk in liters, and then you might take a dose of medicine that's in milliliters. And then in the customary system, we have uh, pounds and ounces. Um, so 16 ounces are a pound. And then in the metric system, uh, 1,000 grams, which is about the weight of a paperclip, is one kilogram, and kilo means thousand. So. Uh, we'll be using both. We'll be um, making some graphs and charts and using uh, information uh, to represent it in like a, you know, some sort of graph or chart. And so go ahead and give this letter to your parents. And this lesson 3.1, um, it kind of has two different ideas. So we're going to do this one in a separate video. Okay, so we're just going to do this first page. Um, here it has... Uh, units of length so we're pretending that we have this ruler here and we're measuring this uh, line segment and the line segment technically a line goes on forever in both directions and then when you have a piece like this you're looking at just this chunk so it's a piece segment of a line and we're looking at um, the these in in between markers which indicate pieces of an inch. So here, halfway between three and four would indicate this is three and a half inches. Um, when you're measuring, make sure you're lining up with your zero on one end and going across to the bigger numbers. So here, you know, one, two, three and a half inches. You can abbreviate inches by writing IN. Um, if this part is a half, it could also be seen as two fourths. Um, and so here we have one fourth, and then this would be the third fourth. The fourth fourth would indicate the full next inch, and that would be on that part. So this is two and three fourths inches. And just a brief reminder. Um, Fractions, these are like fractions here. Um, here's a little sandwich. If you are to cut the sandwich in half, this amount over here is one of the total of two pieces. So this is the amount that you have, and this is the amount of total pieces that are into making a whole. So in these inches, there are four pieces that are the same size that equal the whole inch. Here we have one inch and a quarter inch, so one and one quarter inches. Here we go past the two a little bit, so it's two and one quarter inches, so that first quarter line. And then here, now here we're going from four, so this is one, two, three. We're counting the this amount of space, one, two, three, almost four, so three and three quarter inches. Take a look at this ruler, what's wrong with it? 
um, the markers aren't evenly spaced. Um, they're supposed to be indicating that distance of that inch, and that inch is consistent anywhere you go. It's not just something you make up. All right, let's take a look at uh, this next part. Let me make sure I have my ruler. Oh man, I seem to have misplaced my ruler. Well, here we can see the inch markers right here, so we're gonna estimate. Oh, there's my ruler, it's right here. I knew it wasn't far. If you don't have a ruler, you can print one, just make sure that um, you have an adult help you and not have your ruler be uh, messed up by the settings of the printer. So, you got one inch here. Um, this is probably gonna be like uh, one, two, maybe three inches, maybe three and a half or so. So I'm estimating three inches. That's my guess. Then I'm gonna measure, oh, and I'm lining my zero up. Now on the other side of my ruler, you can see these smaller numbers. These are centimeters, so make sure you're using the bigger one, the fatter um, unit of measurement. And it is about three and a half inches. Here, since this is three and a half, I'm gonna say maybe this is four inches. See, measuring. See, well, we're measuring to the nearest half inch. It's just a little bit beyond four inches. So I'm pretty close, four inches. Now we're going to the nearest quarter inch, and you can see on my ruler, just like on these examples over here, I have my half inch marker, and then I have my quarter inch marker. So it's two and a quarter, two and a half, two and three quarters, or th three inches. And then in between these, it goes to eighths for these uh, slightly shorter lines, and then sixteenths for these itty bitty lines. And that's helpful if you're um, trying to make something fit an exact amount of space. So estimate, this is probably like four and a quarter, or maybe four and a half. Let's see, so I'll say four and two fourths, which is the same as a half inches. And no, it's just four and one quarter. Four and one fourth inches. Now we'll draw a line segment that's five inches. So go ahead, if you have your ruler, um, push your paper down like that. Um, try to make it flat. Hold your ruler carefully with like three fingers firmly on your ruler so it doesn't wiggle around. And then drag your pencil all the way to where that line for five is. Five inch long line. Four and a half inches. You're going to halfway past the four, halfway to the five. Boop, right there. Four and three quarter inches. All the way to this line here. You can see that? Um, this longer line right there. Uh, use a straight edge to draw a line segment that you would think will measure two and a half inches long, then use a ruler to measure the line segment. Oh, sure. Um, let's see. I'll just grab this other math book. Okay, two and a half inches. It's going to be a little bit less than that. So. One, two and a half. Okay, that's kind of close. Let's see how close I got. Ooh, pretty close. Oh my gosh, I got like exactly two and a half inches. Go me, okay? Um, I will, for my class, find a link to a printable ruler for you. And uh, good luck and uh, see you next time for part two of unit three, lesson one. Bye guys.